so hello guys, today is a average of 12, which is currently rolling in the background. Uh, sorry for back no bleh, background noises, if you can hear any, I'm um, kind of, yeah, my sister is home and she kind of gets out of her way to annoy me, but whatever. So, I'm re-recording this, but you guys don't know that because my voice was kind of soft in the other one. I hope this one works, though. So, I'm gonna ramble on and on and on. Sorry if I say, um, a lot, because I'm kind of thinking of what I should talk about. I have a list written down, but... I don't think that's going to last me for six minutes, so I'll try to go slowly and explain everything. So, first and foremost, this is my first, like, real average of 12, um, on camera, so I'm kind of, I was kind of nervous. I got some decent times in there, but it was a pretty bad average, and I was really nervous on some solves, and they had really bad, like, look ahead and stuff. The cube I'm using is a Gu Hong version 2 with Q-Smith Half Bright and Bright Blue and Bright Orange. So now I'm going to talk about some of my averages on cubes and such, and if you want to see them, just comment down below. Uh, my averages for 2x2 two two are about like 4 to 6 seconds, and I use a WIT 2. It's really good, except it took like 3 weeks to get here because light take sucks. For 3x3, three three, I'm averaging uh, sub-15 consistent, almost a consistent uh, sub-14. Um, I usually get like my... Within an average of 12, I get, like, a best average of 3 under 13 or 14. 4x4, four four, I'm sub 1. Not all the time if I get double parity, though, which I hate. For 5x5, five five, I'm sub 150. For 6x6, six six, I'm sub 4. I never practice 6x6, six six, though, because I don't have a good one, because my VQ misaligns and my Shang Shao just pops too much. Uh, but the last average I did on my Shang Shao that when it didn't pop, it was like 350 something. High through 50s. I know, I, I, I'm slow compared to like Kevin Hayes or something. But, yeah. Um, for 7x7, seven seven, I just recently got the Shang Shao, and if you saw my review, it's awesome. I broke my personal best. With, with my V Cube, I was averaging about 7 minutes. Because, oh, there I just missed the space bar, so I had to stop it. That would have been a sub 13, though. So for 7x7, seven seven, I'm, like, averaging sub-6. On my uh, V-Cube, I was barely getting sub-7 because it was locking up and popping and all that. And some people say, like, maybe, like, the rounded corners don't give you a grip on the outer edges or whatever. Maybe. I don't know. But I really like the Shang Shao 7x7. Seven seven. It's just a bit big for my hands, as you might know from my review if you watched it. Uh, also, what do you guys think about this angle? Um, I was trying to get a first-person view kind of thing, but that would just be kind of awkward with a tripod standing in my way. And Because I think at this view, I sometimes go back and forth and you can't really see the cube, and it my right hand kind of covers it, but yeah. The timer I'm using is Prisma Puzzle Cube Timer. Uh, that was the best solve of this average, by the way, the 11.25. And yeah... So, for videos I'm doing, I've been pretty consistent for the past few days, which doesn't seem like a lot, I know, but I'm going to try and post a video every weekday this summer, which is almost over, so that's only a few videos, but I'm kind of running out of ideas, so. Uh, one idea I have is tips on sub-20, sub-18, sub-whatever, sub-minute, if you guys really need that, uh. And any ideas you guys have, uh, either comment down below or PM me or something. So, yeah, if you want to chat, message me, you can add me on Skype. If you PM me, I'll tell you what my Skype is. And school is starting soon, so I don't have that much time to make videos. Um, during school, I might make one once every week or month or every other week like Red KB does, but I don't know. And a couple weeks ago, I went to the Jersey Shore Open. I did pretty good. There were a lot of people there, though. So I didn't place in anything. I wasn't even close. Because, I like, the closest things I could do is Master Magic and Magic. But I never practiced, though. So I, I don't really care. Because it's going to be useless anyway next year. So, yeah. I did okay, though. I broke most of my personal best. Because the last competition I went to before that was, like, a year ago. And, uh... When you're, like, 25 seconds, you can improve pretty quickly. I'm, like, 10 seconds faster now. So, the next competition I'm going to, I'm going to Princeton Open 2012. I went to 2010 and 2011. Princeton is really fun. Um, 
I like watching Mackie juggle. He usually does that when they're making the, like, award certificates, so. Time's almost over. If you saw my cube collection, please comment down below what kind of cube reviews you want. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of quiet in this, because I'm not really sure how... This computer mic is not that great. I might get an extended mic, but... Uh, yeah, one of the solves, I forget, I forgot to mention it, but one of them had a corner twist, and I wasn't cheating, I, this cube does get corner twist every so often, and, uh, I think this is one of the last solves, so, let's watch it. Yeah, as you can see, my emotions are kind of jerky and stuff, because I wasn't really working on look ahead, I was really nervous and all that, so, yeah, that's that. Bye!